Good morning, class. Good morning, Mom. Let us all stand for our prayer. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, the Creator of this vast universe, thank you for giving us another day to learn something new. Clear our mind, and help us focus. Guide us, and our teacher as we study and create new learning experiences. This we pray, in the loving name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now I will check your attendance. Please raise your hand and say present if your name is called. Paner Mark. Mom, present, Mom. Pilapil Shella. Present, Mom. Paner Reg. Present. Presaurus Gwen. Present, Mom. Revelo Grecia. Present, Mom. All right, everyone is present today. Last meeting, we discussed about reactive and unreactive metals, right? Yes, yes Mom. Okay, so before we proceed to our next topic, who can give me an example of reactive metal? Yes, Ms. Revelo. Glass, iron, and copper, Mom. Very good. How about examples of non-reactive metal? Yes, Mr. Punner. Mom, stainless steel, ceramic, glass, metal cookware with enamel coating. Very good. So, reactive and non-reactive are referring to the type of metal from which your pot or bowl is made. Now, let's have a short energizer. I am going to show you a body organs images and with scrambled letters below. So, I want you to guess what it is. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's have the first picture. What do you think is this? It's very easy, right? Ma'am? Yes, Miss Presaurus, it is the? Mouth, ma'am. Mouth, very good. You got it right. How about this one? Ma'am. Yes, Miss Pilapil. Stomach, ma'am. Stomach, that's correct. Very good. Next, where is this arrow pointing? Do you have any idea? Mom, mom. Yes, Mr. Panner. It's a small intestine. Correct. Next, anybody wants to answer this? Mom? Yes, Miss Revelo. Rectum, mom. That's right. And this is the last one. Who can guess what it is? Mom. Yes, Mr. Panner. Liver, mom. Liver, very good. So, based on the pictures and your guesses, do you have any idea about our topic for this morning? Is it organs, mom? Organs? Digestive, digestive system, mom? Yes, digestive system is our topic for today. I have here a short video clip regarding the digestive system. Watch carefully and take note some important facts and information. I will then ask questions later. Across the whole planet, humans eat on average between 1 and 2.7 kilograms of food a day. That's over 365 kilograms a year per person, and more than 28,800 kilograms over the course of a lifetime. And every last scrap makes its way through the digestive system. Comprised of 10 organs covering 9 meters and containing over 20 specialized cell types, this is one of the most diverse and complicated systems in the human body. Its parts continuously work in unison to fulfill a singular task, transforming the raw materials of your food into the nutrients and energy that keep you alive. Spanning the entire length of your torso, the digestive system has four main components. First, there's the gastrointestinal tract, a twisting channel that transports your food and has an internal surface area of between 30 and 40 square meters, enough to cover half a badminton court. Second, there's the pancreas, gallbladder, and liver, a trio of organs that break down food using an array of special juices. Third, the body's enzymes, hormones, nerves, and blood all work together to break down food, modulate the digestive process, and deliver its final products. Finally, there's the mesentery, a large stretch of tissue that supports and positions all your digestive organs in the abdomen, enabling them to do their jobs. The digestive process begins before food even hits your tongue. Anticipating a tasty morsel, glands in your mouth start to pump out saliva. We produce about 1.5 liters of this liquid each day. Once inside your mouth, chewing combines with the sloshing saliva to turn food into a moist lump called the bolus. Enzymes present in the saliva break down any starch, 
Then your food finds itself at the rim of a 25 centimeter long tube called the esophagus, down which it must plunge to reach the stomach. Nerves in the surrounding esophageal tissue sense the bolus's presence and trigger peristalsis, a series of defined muscular contractions. That propels the food into the stomach, where it's left at the mercy of the muscular stomach walls, which pound the bolus, breaking it into chunks. Hormones secreted by cells in the lining trigger the release of acids and enzyme-rich juices from the stomach wall that start to dissolve the food and break down its proteins. These hormones also alert the pancreas, liver, and gallbladder to produce digestive juices and transfer bile, a yellowish-green liquid that digests fat, in preparation for the next stage. After three hours inside the stomach, the once shapely bolus is now a frothy liquid called chyme, and it's ready to move into the small intestine. The liver sends bile to the gallbladder, which secretes it into the first portion of the small intestine, called the duodenum. Here, it dissolves the fats floating in the slurry of chyme so they can be easily digested by the pancreatic and intestinal juices that have leached onto the scene. These enzyme-rich juices break the fat molecules down into fatty acids and glycerol for easier absorption into the body. The enzymes also carry out the final deconstruction of proteins into amino acids and carbohydrates into glucose. This happens in the small intestine's lower regions, the jejunum and ileum, which are coated in millions of tiny projections called villi. These create a huge surface area to maximize molecule absorption and transference into the bloodstream. The blood takes them on the final leg of their journey to feed the body's organs and tissues. But it's not over quite yet. Leftover fiber, water, and dead cells sloughed off during digestion make it into the large intestine, also known as the colon. The body drains out most of the remaining fluid through the intestinal wall. What's left is a soft mass called stool. The colon squeezes this byproduct into a pouch called the rectum, where nerves sense it expanding, and tell the body when it's time to expel the waste. The byproducts of digestion exit through the anus, and the food's long journey, typically lasting between 30 and 40 hours, is finally complete. Okay class, based from the video clip you just watched, how does digestion begin? Yes, Miss Persores. It begins from the mouth. Very mouth. good. The process of taking food or drinks into the mouth by swallowing is called the process of ingestion. What is the next organ in which the food passes through? Yes, Miss Pilapil? Mom, it's the esophagus. Exactly, you're correct. Then how does esophagus work? Mom, esophagus works as a passageway of food mm -hmm. in order to reach the stomach. Excellent answer. After esophagus is now the... What's the next? Yes, Mr. Panner? Stomach, ma'am. You're right. What's the role of the stomach in the digestive system? The stomach is where the food mixes with mm -hmm. juices and acids. And it is where digestion takes place. Very good. Digestion is the process of breaking down food into substances that can be used by the body. What is the next organ? Yes, Mr. Velo? Small intestine, mom. That's correct. How does small intestine work? Mom, it helps further digest food coming from mm -hmm. the stomach. And it is where the absorption of nutrients and water from food so they can be used by the body. Very good answer. Absorption happens in the small intestine. What is the next organ involved in the small intestine? Large intestine, ma'am. Mm, very good. And what is the role of this organ in digestion? The large intestine is used to drain okay. out most of the remaining fluid through the intestinal wall. Very good. After that, what's next? Yes, Miss Persores? All leftover soft mass called stool were squishes by the large intestine to rectum before they are eliminated out of the body through the anus. Excellent! And that is the final stage in the digestion. The process involved is elimination. There were also accessory organs that help to maximize the digestion of food. What are those? Mom, yes, Mr. Panner. These are the pancreas, the liver, and the gallbladder. Oh, very good. In what ways these organs help in digestion? Liver helps in the production of bile, 
which help in the excretion of excess cholesterol. Very good. Yes. The gallbladder stores the bile until it is needed in the small intestine. Pancreas secretes pancreatic juice called enzymes that breaks down sugars, carbohydrates, and fats. Very good. I'm pretty sure you already understood how the digestion takes place and how the different organs of the digestive system work together to digest foods and used by the body. Do you have any questions or additional insights? None, Mom! Now let's see if you have really internalized our topic today. What are the different organs of the digestive system? Mouth. Mouth. Esophagus. Esophagus. Stomach. Stomach. Small intestine. Small intestine. Large intestine. Large intestine. Anus. Anus. Rectum. All right, very good. To further understand the lesson, let's do some demonstration. I want you to group yourselves into two. We call this activity bread in the bag. I'll give you 10 minutes to perform the activity and to answer the questions given. Okay class, now that we're done with our activity, let's generalize all the things we've tackled today. Digestion starts when the food is taken into the mouth, right? Yes, yes ma'am! So what do you call by the process of taking the food through the mouth? Ingestion! Very good! What is the process which involved into the breaking of foods into nutrients? Digestion! What process which involved in taking in of nutrients by the cell? Absorption. Absorption! Very good! What is the last process that removes any leftover waste materials from the body? Elimination! Very good class! Now that you have learned and understood how the digestive system works, what will you do in order to maintain a healthy body? Chew your foods well. Okay. Eat foods rich in fiber. Mm, very good. Drink lots of water. Eat healthy food. Alright, now let's have a quiz. Please get a one-fourth sheet of paper. So I want you to write the letter of the correct answer and I'll give you five minutes. Okay, class, pass your papers. For your assignment, do some research about the different digestive system disorders and write it in your assignment notebook. Okay, goodbye class. Goodbye, goodbye ma'am. Goodbye, ma'am.